Hello my beautiful bugs, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome, my name is Brooke. I am a fashion lover, a makeup lover, and a proud mother to a sophisticated cat named Snoop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this very, I think she's very cute, pin up zombie. This is my version of a pin up zombie. I actually found a picture of a cute like cartoon pin up esque zombie on Pinterest. And this is what the look was inspired by. So without further ado, let's get started. First steps and our absolute most important, moisturizing and priming. This is gonna be a barrier so the paint does not stain our skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my face and neck. Taking a white eyeliner pencil and I am just going to map out all of the things that I want to paint on. Bear with me through this video because I am not a Scientology science major. I know nothing about anatomy. I am drawing on some patches of skin that have been torn off, I guess. Now I'm going to take a glue stick. This is a washable glue stick by Crazy Art. And I'm just going to mush that all around my brows, all types of ways, really making sure that there is a lot of glue inside of my eyebrow hairs. Then I'm gonna take a spoolie brush and just brush my eyebrow hairs upwards so that they're laying flat on my face. Then I'm going to remove the excess glue, wait for that to dry for a second, and then set it with some loose setting powder. Now we are just going to wipe away the excess powder and continue using the white eyeliner pencil to map out more things on my face. Right now I'm drawing a circle around my eye socket or technically just following my eye socket and we're going to fill that in later. And I did attempt to do the eyeball that is on the original picture, but that's just not going to work for me today. <laughs> Now I'm going to start on my base color. We are taking this lime greenish kind of color and we're just going to put that all over our face and neck except where we put the white liner. We are not going to put green inside of the white liner shapes that we made on our body. Now we are going to make our paint nice and smooth on our face by blending it out with a beauty blender. Now taking my Tarte Shape Tape Loose Setting Powder and I'm just setting my under eyes first because those are going to crease the fastest with this grease paint. And using this translucent powder is actually going to act as our highlighter and it's going to help make the parts of our face that we want to push forward, push forward. Now I'm taking my Ciate Hydrating Watermelon Burst setting powder and I'm just setting the rest of my face where I don't want the loose setting powder. Going back into my paint palette, I am going to take this mauve color, this pinky nude red-ish color. It kind of looks like clay, but anyways, and that is going to be our wound colors. We're also gonna put a little bit on our ears and we're just gonna put that all up in our wound area. I kind of put my wound like literally on one half of my neck and then on my shoulder cap. Going back to my eye, I'm going to redraw my circle with the white eyeliner pencil and fill it in with black. Actually, don't do that yet. We're gonna add some detail before we do the black. I'm going to be taking a burnt orange eyeshadow and a red eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna be creating some extra wound things around my little eye socket that I drew. So I'm drawing some right on my eyebrow, my glued down eyebrow, a little bit on my cheek, and then right on my nose in the inner corner of my eye. There's no specific way to do this, I'm just smacking the brush all over my face. Now we go in with the black. And I'm just going to be filling in this eye hole really nice and neat with my black paint. 
Now setting my new eye hole with some black eyeshadow. Now I'm taking a dark forest green color on a small pencil crease brush and I'm just throwing this dark green in my crease and just going along the shape of my crease, not doing anything too crazy, just wanted to give my eyes some good dimension. And of course, blending that out with a fluffy brush. I am now taking a flat packing brush and spraying that with some setting spray, diving into my new Otherworldly palette, and jumping into this beautiful sparkly green. Do you guys see this eyeshadow? Oh, of course you do. You can see it from six feet under. Now we're moving on to eyeliner and I'm just going to do a nice, clean, sharp wing and making sure to bring that into my inner corner as well. Now I'm taking this like medium color, kind of like grass green eyeshadow on my powder sponge and I am going to start contouring my cheeks. I wanted my cheeks to look really sunken in but I also wanted to give myself a mucky color around my face to make it look like I was kind of decaying. I don't know if I really achieved that look, but it doesn't look mucky and that's that's all we need. So now we're just going to keep using this green color to contour my face. Right now I'm contouring my nose, my cupid's bow, and my lips. Now I'm taking some black paint again on a detailed brush and I'm going to create a hole in my nose. Um, it's kind of like a really crooked heart on my nose that I created, kind of just totally disregarding my nose contour I just did and filling that in black. Then I'm going to take a bit more of that green eyeshadow and really hollow out my cheekbones. And of course I'm putting a little bit underneath my chin and I'm also going to be putting a little bit of the eyeshadow in my collarbones to give them some more dimension and make myself look a lot more sunken in. Now I'm taking some more black paint and I'm literally just trying to hollow out my cheekbones by making myself really resemble the picture and giving myself those black lines for my cheekbones. I did not execute this well, but looking at myself straight on, it looks better than turning my head to the side. <laughs> now I'm going to add just a little bit of blush and I'm going to, of course, blend that out with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And I'm going to get started on my eyebrows. I wanted some very, very thin pinup brows. I'm only good at doing boxy brows, but I think I did a pretty good job at getting them as thin as possible. And for the other side of my face with the hole in my eye, I only did about a third of a brow. Now I'm taking a mixture of hot pink, magenta, and red, and I'm going to create some abrasions on my skin, mostly doing it on my chin and mouth and a little bit on my neck exactly like the picture had it. And the way I'm doing this, I am just messily applying my blush brush all over my face. Now outlining my flesh wounds in black. As you can see, I did not stress to make sure that my lines were absolutely perfect because we are a zombie. Zombies aren't perfect. We're dead. Hello. But now I'm just going to darken up the line after I'm done shading them out. I'm just doing some eyelash whisk motions with my wrist to really get some extra dimension in there. Now I'm drawing some, these look like muscle lines muscle tendons. You're watching the video. You know exactly what's going on. It's okay. It's okay. We got it. 
no need for an anatomy lesson from me, but we are just taking black and drawing some zebra-esque stripes. Now I'm taking a burgundy color and we are drawing some more stripes. Now we are taking a white and I'm not doing stripes, I'm kind of doing like little lines all over the place to make it kind of look like highlights. Now I'm taking this berry pink lip liner and just lining my lips and I'm making my cupid's bow very rounded off. I'm not making it very pointed how it naturally is, I'm rounding off my cupid's bow today. Now I'm taking my collab liquid lipstick and we are just putting that all over our lips. Now I'm taking a brown lip pencil and just lining all around my lips, mostly focusing on the cupid's bow area and the bottom lip in the center. Now go ahead and apply your favorite mascara. I personally do not have a favorite mascara because I feel all mascaras are the same. And your favorite lashes. I do have a favorite pair of lashes though. These are the Doll Eyes Volume Lashes in ruby which happens to be my birthstone now i'm taking a little bit of red paint and i'm just creating a little bit of blood drip down my face i was just mimicking exactly what the picture looked like now we are taking our special ingredient strawberry jam yeah and we're just going to dig our spoon in there backwards and just slap it on our face just like this and eventually it will dry up and you will look like you were eating zombie. No, eating humans. <laughs> guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this week's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget while you're down there subscribing there is a bell icon right next to the subscribe button go ahead and press that so you can get notified every time i post a new video and i will see you guys in the next one bye